Tus, Kiriachi, Stormy right. No Riley up top, you you know. But no Riley. Reason of a deal are on height. They're so good at just punishing every low ground team. This could be trouble for Savage and Queasy as well. None of them looking to take height really. They're looking to survive. Same place, same boxes, and they both don't really pull zone completely. It's a pseudo max rotate, and they might be right beside each other. Savage, the in-game leader for this situation is right here. His prowess, his clutch factor is all on the line. He has to lead Revsgard and Dreda. Savage joining this duo to form this newly trio that's performing out of their minds right now. Only 13 above Storm Surge, so that's going to be dangerous for them. They're following the old tarp of True uh, Trulek like Squeezy and Jerky. They're actually box to box side by side, it feels like, and right behind their tails, they actually end up on different layers. That could have been so dangerous out ahead of them. Breaking into another person's box, so they might go toe to toe with Andalex on low ground, focusing on the bottom right right now for Savage. Queasy is way ahead of zone. They're looking really good right now. Savage, meanwhile, is walking by, burning trees, a forest set ablaze, and working through builds that aren't even his own. This is not normal. He likes having his own lair. They found ultimate low ground, though. They're free. Green pastures, and they're moving forward. Meanwhile, Queasy is slightly elevated up top. It's a battle of who can survive. They put out some fire, but the rest of the builds catch. Savage's feet are hot. He goes all the way back, and it's time for a med kit. Meanwhile, Queasy going all the way a little bit for height. gets interrupted and dropped down below. Both teams trying to survive, both in so many different layers of pressure. Queasy trying to go back to his playbook to go for height, but was denied by Flick and and Thomas HT. All eyes are on the right side of the screen. Let's see what happens right here. Savage is in trouble. Savage is down to 7 HP without any shield here. This is going to be a moment right now for the tournament. Run is on their lives right now. Can Queasy, Turkey, and Trulix just hold on? But look at the push that's happening on the bottom right. Savage, the trio, picks up elimination, and they have so much space control right now. They're pushing through the builds. They're getting the E limbs right now, but can Queasy, Trulix, and Jerky just hold on? That's all they have to do. Queasy, Trulix, Jerky moving slower and lower in boxes. Find a big edit onto the Symptos. They get a huge knock. This will be dangerous to try to finish, though. Every edit they look for could be on the front of a pump shock and going straight to the face. Queasy backs up. The full trio still alive, still healthy, and have a reasonable amount of materials. Savage, though, caught the mech, and he's looking good all the way on the bottom right side of your screen. Anas, Thomas, Flick are still doing their thing on high ground. They're not over and ready to give things up completely, this FNCS. And Dredda has gone down on the bottom right side of the feed. Second place might be getting left behind in the dust and fire as Queasy, Chulex, and Jerky are looking to control low. They're right on the same layer at the low ground. Just a small layer separating. Savage and Revscore as a duo have to work together against Jerky and Trulix. A knock goes through on Queasy, getting Clement. That's going to be a more points on the board right here. It's unbelievable. First and second here on the low ground. And Savage takes out Trulix. This may be the opening that they need to be able to catch up right now. Queasy and Jerky are still on their feet. And Queasy's in trouble. Queasy's going to be taken out. And now Savage and Revscore guard with six eliminations and the victory out in their sights could win it all right here right now i don't see trulex fully out just yet so that first team might still be in the way jerky going down towards the storm it looks like i don't see savage alive either it could be a matter of just moments and mere points right there but it seems as though queasy trulex and jerky have done enough to wrap up the fncs it might be a matter of moments but they should be your champions meanwhile thomas anas and flick They'll roll into the end game. You can never count them out when you talk about EU. Slated to win everything, they'll be on defense with Hadi, but Anas goes down, almost close to Thomas HD. Both teammates down, it's up to Thomas to clutch things out in the final game. Two final teams left, but it's looking like almost, yes, a 1v3. The impossible task is in front of Thomas HD. This is gonna require everything he's done so far. All the experience, 130 drop down, block the shot, another flick on the right, but it's not gonna be enough. Thomas gets taken down, and Dun and Joku are the ones to win the final game. But that two-legged race, the two-man 3v3 that happened in the end game, Sancho, looks like Trulex came out on top. Wow, what a great finish for our 12th game. Congratulations to Andon for getting that victory out with that trio there. You can definitely build on that performance. But hey, the soda's gonna be popping right here, right now for Queasy, Trulix, and Jerky. Congratulations, you are this season's FNCS champion.
Absolutely. What a phenomenal run on both days. The first day looking like they should have won the way they were playing. They couldn't confirm anything. They had their card in the register, just couldn't pay the cash. This time, though, they're getting paid in hundreds and thousands of dollars, winning out the day, three VRs, the second game surviving all the way through, 333 points. I guess lucky number three is the way for this trio season for this squad, Sancho.